Myths about learning languages early. How to raise multilingual children successfully. Sadly, there is still misinformation going around about multilingualism and bilingualism in kids. So I thought, why not sort out the truth from the fake news? Hello everyone, welcome to Multilingual Family, a vlog for cosmopolitan people like you that helps you raise your multilingual child successfully. Please consider subscribing to this channel and my mailing list for free content. Multilingualism causes speech delay and confusion. Monolingualism is the norm. Code switching is always bad. In this video, I'll talk about these and other myths, hoping to clarify some points and open up a space for respectful discussions. Let me know what you think after watching this content in the comment section. Myth number one. Monolingualism is the norm. This is simply wrong. Over 50% of the Earth's population grows up already learning more than one language. And as our planet becomes more globalized, the number of intercultural couples and families grow as well. The mixture of culture is rising and children that have relatives spread around the globe is becoming rather normal. I think we are moving from being citizens of individual countries to becoming world citizens. And this process seems unstoppable to me. Myth number two. Monolingualism causes speech delay. Honestly, when I was pregnant I feared this assumption. I knew back then already that there are no scientific findings whatsoever that support this claim. But as a mother I still worried. So, I'm here to tell you that the issue of speech delay is as much a difficulty for monolinguals as it is for multilinguals. What is important to bear in mind is that multilingual children will start producing words in all the languages they are exposed to. So if you compare the number of words that a monolingual child is saying at a certain age to the number of words a multilingual child of the same age is saying, it is likely that the multilingual child says less words if you consider only one language. But if you take all the languages in consideration, you will notice that in most cases their language development is within the normal range. I think this is a very important point that makes multilingual parents feel insecure, worried and causes confusion. If your child is developing normally, there is nothing to worry about. Just trust your child's potential and focus on exposing your multilingual child to as much quality language input as possible. Because the amount of language exposure you give to your child would determine how fast he or she will reproduce phrases and how rich his or her vocabulary will be. Myth number three. Multilingual children are confused. This is probably the myth about multilingualism that bothers me the most. Why? Because it's so wrong. But yeah, I get it. I understand why people that are not experts in this field would think that. They see multilingual children mixing languages and to them it's probably a sign of poor language skills. Once you start analyzing what these kids are saying in depth, you can often see that they use all their brain power to communicate as efficiently as possible using their whole language repertoire. So, it's not that the multilingual child is confused, but rather that the unexpert listeners cannot follow what the multilingual child is expressing. I showed a video with concrete examples that will show you in detail what I mean when I say that multilingual children are everything else but confused. Check out the video above after watching this video to learn more about it. Please give me a like and let me know what you think in the comment section. Number four, young children soak up languages like sponges. I hear this myth very often. It has a grain of truth though, in the sense that children learn languages easier because it happens naturally, very similar to the way anybody learns a first language, through listening and repeating and in a playful way. 
they don't sit down and learn grammatical rules and memorize vocabulary out of books like teenagers or adults would do, especially not if they are six years old or younger. So it's not that multilingual children are passive and the learning process happens automatically without effort. It's just that this process is unconscious on preschoolers and younger kids. And because they start learning the languages early, they have more years of practice allowing them in many cases to become proficient at a younger age than teenagers or adults. Myth number five. Multilingual children have equal and perfect knowledge in all their languages. To have the same level in all the languages is practically impossible. Normally bilingual or multilingual kids have stronger and weaker languages. It all depends on how much exposure and practice they get in each one. Learning languages is like training muscles. Use it or lose it. If you train them, they will become stronger, if not weaker. So it's a dynamic process that can change multiple times throughout a person's life. In my case, for example, my strongest language was for about 20 years Spanish, although I grew up simultaneously bilingual or trilingual, if you also count Swiss German. Once I moved to Switzerland, I started using German much more often than before, so my level in that language rose, maybe surpassing some, in some areas my Spanish skills. Multilingual people are not automatically translators because they develop their vocabulary in different areas in different languages. For example, when it comes to specific terms in biology, I learned those in English at school. So I would have to look up how to say mitochondria in German or Spanish. On the other hand, when it comes to cooking, I know most of the vocabulary in Spanish and German because I used to cook with my parents. I have no idea how to say Schwingbesen in English. As you see, being multilingual means lifelong learning and fostering the language skills to maintain and improve them. I hope you like this video called Myths about learning languages early, how to raise multilingual children successfully. That was it for today. Thanks for joining me and check out my other videos for more useful material. This was Multilingual Family. Keep on doing a great job and talk to you soon.